Today we're going to talk about an introduction to atoms. So what is an atom? An atom is the most basic unit of chemistry. If you can imagine if we took an iron bar and we cut that in half and then we cut that piece in half and we cut that piece in half and we kept doing that would, would there ever get to be a point where we couldn't cut it in half anymore? Well, that would be an atom. An atom is the smallest particle that can be broken down to and still have the same properties and still be iron. So if we were to look at this model we have here of an atom, we're going to notice that there's different parts to it. The first part that I want you to notice is in the center of this atom, we have what we call the nucleus. So this area in here is the nucleus. This is the center of the atom. This is where all of the mass is found in an atom. So this is the nucleus. The center of the atom is known as the nucleus. Now don't get that confused with the nucleus that we find in a cell. Nucleus means center. So they both are found in the center, but they are very different. All right, around the outside of the nucleus, we have the electron cloud. So this is the electron cloud. I'll bet you'll never guess what we find in the electron cloud out here. We find these electrons. And electrons are orbiting around the outside of the nucleus. Now it's important to remember that as we, we think about a, an atom, it is far too small for us to see an individual atom. Even with uh, our best microscopes, we could barely, barely see atoms with electron microscopes. So uh, these are almost infinitely small, difficult for us to imagine ever being able to see. Okay, let's take a closer look at this model of an atom. So, as we already said, in the center of the atom, this area here, we have what we call the nucleus. Okay? So this is the nucleus. Out here, around the outside, where the electrons are, we have the electron cloud. So let's take a look at the three different types of particles that make up an atom. And we're going to fill in this table as we do. Now, not all the table is going to make sense to you at first, but we're going to fill it in, and then over time, over the next few videos, um, it will all be explained to you and make a little bit more sense. So we're going to start with this particle right here. The first thing we have to understand is that atoms are too small for us to really be able to see. So when we give these colors and we put symbols on them here, that doesn't really happen. They're far too small for us to see or, or have color. Um, these particles right here, we're going to call a proton, okay? And protons are in the nucleus, obviously, and they have a charge of plus one, which is why we always draw them with a plus sign on them. So protons, they're found in the nucleus, and they have a charge of plus one. Now, they have mass. They take up space. They have... Um, they have a mass to them. So we, we, we say they have a mass of one AMU, it's atomic mass unit. So protons, right here, so if we have three protons, we have plus three charge, and have a mass of three. Are they a part of the atomic number? Protons are the atomic number. The number of protons is the atomic number. So yes, they are taken into account in the atomic number. And since protons have mass, they are a part of the atomic mass. Yes. Let's look at this other particle that we find in the nucleus of the atom. This one right here with an N with a small zero. That zero represents its charge. It has no charge. These are called neutrons. Okay. So neutrons are also found in the nucleus. Right? We just said, though, that neutrons have the zero up here for their charge, so they have no charge. That's very important. They have zero charge. But they do have a mass. They have the same mass as a proton, but no charge. All right? They are just there to take up space. They don't add any charge. Okay, so let's keep filling out our table. We have that the neutrons are found in the nucleus, they have a mass of one and a charge of zero. They are not a part of the atomic number. Atomic number is just the number of protons, but they do have mass. 
So they have an atomic mass and they are counted in there. So let's go back and look at these last particles out here, which are the electrons. Okay, notice these electrons are much smaller than the protons and neutrons that we have here. The reason is that these electrons have no mass. And I know that seems kind of crazy, and it's uh, one, of those part, one of those concepts that's discussed in physics all the time, but the, the mass of an electron is infinitely small, if anything at all. Now, notice there's a little of a negative sign on those. That's because they have a charge of negative one. They're the exact opposite of a proton. And they are not located in the nucleus. They're lo located in the electron cloud, outside of the nucleus. Just like the neutron, they are not a part of atomic number. Right? The only thing that is a part of the atomic number is protons. Protons, number of protons is the atomic number. Now if we look, they have no mass. So would they be counted in the atomic mass? No. So let's go back to this example that we had over here. What would the charge of this atom be? Okay, so we have plus one, plus two, plus three. So from the protons, we have a charge of plus three from the protons. One, two, three, four. They're, each one of these is worth zero, so the neutrons give us no charge. And then one, two, three. We have minus three from the electrons. So three minus three gives us zero. When an atom has no charge, no charge is known as being neutral. So you'll notice that in a neutral atom, the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons. All right, now let's talk about mass. Let's count the things that have mass. Notice the only things that have mass are protons and neutrons. When we count mass, electrons have no mass. So with the protons, we have plus one. We have this one right here. One, two, three. From the protons. And we have one, two, three, four. They have mass. The only things that have mass are in the nucleus. So this would have an atomic mass of seven. This has an atomic mass of seven because it has seven particles, protons and neutrons, in the nucleus.